to build this shaving horse I used 2 by 4 2 by 6 and 2 by 10 all yellow pine as you can see there there's a 2 by 4 with a 2 by 6 supporting a 2 by 10 your seat that just makes a nice little eye beam that's real strong next I come back and I I cut my legs and I chose an angle and I after I cut my four legs to it the same length I then temporarily clamp the legs to the eye beam there and see with the angle of the, the bottom feet are going to sit to the floor and of course the feet won't be making contact with the floor unless you go back and cut that compound angle at the feet so you just use a straight rule and go across there you don't even know, have to know the angle in order to get your feet to sit on the floor flat so that just makes your bench and that's the first place to start is the height that you're comfortable with sitting and the length is important because that determines how close that you'll be to your workpiece and plus your storage how long if you have it too long the second step that I chose to build this with is to make the uh, workpiece table there the overall height on this one is about eight inches you just pick whatever uh, when you're sitting down and you have the the uh, drawing knife in your hands what's comfortable to you so you build that now I left all this to where it doesn't uh, isn't permanent so that I can disassemble this and have a nice sturdy bench to use in other applications so that was the second step then the third step is to build your your head clamp here now normally that would be made out of hardwood but I wasn't going to ruin my hardwood learning here and building a pattern. So it's made out of yellow pine. So all I did was, is I drill this uh, hole all the way through, which is a threaded rod with a nut on there that's just finger tight. I hadn't uh, relieved for the bar clamp area there, the bar there, and I hadn't relieved the clearance for it to sit uh, inside the sawhorse here. So I'm just working with a oversized uh, 2 by 6 maybe it was 2 by 10 I don't remember I'll start with that drill a hole in, into the board make cut the board where you have clearance so that when you swing it in the bottom of the radius it doesn't hit the floor I hadn't added on the, the uh, triangulated foot there that you can reach from with both feet or one foot from either side I find that to be real handy and then I just uh, the next step come up here figure about my angle with a pencil that I wanted to cut it out the board just hand drew me a, a, a radius there so it's all one board right now not much to lose there and have it to where when I push down with my foot then I knew it was going to strike my uh, table the head wood then I just cut me some angle uh, same pieces of wood, the same angle, and laminate it and screw them together to give us the overall thickness to be able to reach all the way across the table. I built this bench to where I can take it apart for storage. I built it strictly for functionality, not for any kind of historical accuracy. Functionality above all else. Storage was important to me to be able to break it down for transport and of course to be able to use this real heavy duty bench for other applications one of the drawbacks is if you don't screw this board down or use a hinge like others do then you can get some movement out of it and sometimes I can get aggravating just to pretend, depending on all the relationships of the wood and pressure and shape of the wood you're working on well I find out if you'll go over to the kitchen area in one of these box stores they have this rubber uh, nice rubber stuff that you put in your kitchen uh, drawers and if you'll lay that underneath there she'll stay right where you want her and you have a multi-purpose bench when you need it this is just finger tight this nut if I work this over again oh by the way there's three other holes 
and they're there to, for just for thickness at the top depending on how thick a piece you work on I've just been using this to half handles sledge hammers and tomahawks and things of that nature I haven't needed to move it but if I ever do I'll have it there but I might build different I'd probably put a wing nut there and I would consider putting a, a wing nut on the wood screw there and then on the on one side there I would radius my bar there and have enough clearance to where you could take that one nut off by hand remove this wing uh, this wood screw with the wing nut on it just weld it on there and slide that bar down then the, the clamping head to come right off and of course these other two are uh, removable your uh, workpiece rest and of course if you want to leave this dedicated then you can skip all that and just either nail it screw it or put a hinge down some people like that because then they could put a different height on there to adjust for their thicknesses if they need to uh, some other things you might want to consider is maybe running a, a V groove down the middle of your board that would help in holding things uh, that are round also, uh, you may want to build just three legs instead of four at a set level, no matter where you're at, if you're dealing with a lot of ir irregular surfaces. But, uh, you know, a longer bench is nice, but you can, you're going to have to put up with that storage. Uh, remember, your, your main relationships without having a drawing and prints to it all is, is building this to fit you. The width of the seat, you know, that's just a tube of tin. It's pretty standard your height a lot of times somewhere about 17 three quarter inches is right but you got to figure it to your height to get it comfortable and of course the distance between where you're sitting and the distance where you're using your drawing knife with your uh, workpiece uh, sticking out uh, from the table there a comfortable distance there without making this uh, too long for storage and you just kind of sit down and go through this imaginary and you'll find your dimensions pretty easy and pretty quick that'll fit you and your, your style of work. Anyhow, I hope you're, I'll go build one. They sure are fun. They're certainly handy to have. And I wish you all the success. Thanks for viewing.